we hope you enjoy today. We're really excited to talk about our design forecast. We're looking at ways that we can design these cities and these places to have a long-standing relationship with the people that we're designing these places for. Actually, the CBD isn't a workplace primarily for most people anymore. And that's partly to do with the pandemic, it's partly to do with technological change, it's partly to do with a whole bunch of other things. What they do value out of the city centre is this place where they go to shop, they go to meet, they go to socialise. When we ask what they want the office to do, they want the office to give them a place to focus. They want the office to give them a place to sit with their teams, to have scheduled meetings. They want the office to be there to let them get things done. And then we need to provide environments where people can focus with concentrated attention on their skills. The key challenge to this to create the value in the investment linked to the business performance is leadership. How do we kind of really seize the opportunity there of that change in working patterns and um, concepts like 15 minute cities and uh, really looking at how we can reduce the car dependency in, in outer London. Thinking deep into those organisations and asking them how does the space actually match up with what you're doing instead of trying to create useful spaces which are transient that people just don't know what they're supposed to be doing. We just want things to be a lot simpler so that we can focus and get our job done. We are going to deliver a low car scheme in a place that, frankly, most people drive to work. But actually, there needs to be a shift change. In order for us to do these big ideas, it starts with us and learning from one another. It's because in order for us to create this world that we know that we can, we have to change the way that we're thinking about the world we're in today.